hi guys welcome to a new vlog i just filmed a get ready with me for you guys if you're interested in seeing how i achieved this look the link would be up here right here you can click it and watch it okay guys we're running late it's like 5 30 already and we all the things that have to come get us real quick my phone's very low because i was filming this entire time to get ready with me so i took my charger as well and yeah baby you should get to know me tapping into that good energy and i'm more for something carefree power drink have a seat next to me yeah Touching my skin, got us both one and more Right for my neck, got my clothes all over the floor uh, uh. Why can't we just start the plane? No more holding back, good We're already got me feeling like a queen Like your lady, will you love me like that? Like just give me those names again. Melanie and Danica Sukula. <laughs> Can I ask you, where did you get your outfit, my angel? Oh, I'm um, Fashion Nova. Like that, yeah. Baby, can you stop hesitating? No more second thoughts. Stop delaying. Got me feeling like a queen. Like you did it, but you love me like that. Will you not like that? Will you love it for me like that? Will you not like that? Will you love it? Me and my sister were in shots because our anxiety is taking over. Screw. <laughs> Got us both one and more Breath on my neck Got my clothes all over the floor during the whole one hour program. Um, first and foremost, my name is Erica Platt. Officially welcome to tonight's event. I'm gonna pick on the first couple that came here tonight. And I had a couple that was sitting here, the first early birds tonight. You know who you are, can you stand up please? The couple, I identified you. Where are you, stand up. Can you give them a round of applause? For the mere fact that they came on time they were waiting for all of y'all to start this event so can we can we give them a maybe a matching nice little handbag <laughs> and a nice leather handbag for the gentleman i feel like oprah i'm not oprah but i feel like oprah tonight With a little 
And ladies and gentlemen, Michelle, come to the front, come to the stage. All right, all right, all right, all right. The lady of the moment, the lady of the moment. Nice to meet you. Isn't he such a gentleman? Isn't he a gentleman? Can we hear your voice? Good evening, everyone. How y'all doing? You ladies look absolutely gorgeous. So, Mfali, you know, usually we get a whole bio of who you are, what you've done. Um, we always love to hear it from the horse's mouth because you love to say things are relevant and things that are very close to your heart in the moment. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say, you know what, in one or two sentences, who are you? And tell us one thing about you that never, nobody knew about you on social media. Okay. My name is Michelle Damase. I'm a multi-award winning digital content creator. I'm on the Forbes 30 under 30 list. Um, I have a YouTube channel. Um, what do people not know about me? I feel like I'm so transparent with my audience. They know everything. <laughs> you, you feel interrogated, right? I don't know what to say. What do people not know about me? I love sleep. I love sleeping. I value my sleep a lot. I'm sure I probably tweeted that though. Good stuff. discussing what is in my comfort zone and what isn't and also being realistic I never want to do work where I'll end up um, not delivering to my fullest and not giving client value so that opportunity was um, honestly a shock for me very much out of my comfort zone I was so shy but I was lucky that when we shot it there wasn't a live audience it was recorded for TV and um, so Mizi who was my co-host was so accommodating he made me feel so comfortable so it was a really beautiful experience and hopefully there'll be more opportunities in that space. It's something I'm definitely interested in. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Thank you, Mama. Um, I just wanted to know, like when you go to discussing like your contracts before you had your agency representing you, how did you make sure that you were actually paid your worth? You know, because sometimes as like influencers or creatives, we're in a space where someone would pay, let's say, for example, a white person more than a black person, even if you have like more reach or influence than they do. So how is it that you actually navigated that space and stood up for yourself? Brand conversation with another content creator. And I think it's very important that we're able to have these conversations with one another about rates and advise each other it's not a comfortable conversation to have like i want to scream every time someone asks me how much do i charge for a post because <laughs> i'm just like that's very invasive but at the same time it really helps when it comes to growth so i was shooting a collab with another youtuber Sibun Banza, and um he was like can i see your rate card i was like why and then I showed him and he's like, you're undercharging. So that's really where um, I started to ask other people in the industry, brand managers, people that I had good relationships with, for advice on how much I should charge for my work. So um, that's something that you can have conversations with people about. And also another thing is think about how much you've invested in your brand. When it comes to your equipment, um, what your lighting you use, you know, the camera that you use, even your time, that is something that you should also be charging for. So that's how you can go around... Um, figuring out your rates. 
Oh, that's an honor. When you since 2013 or when you should um, I would like to know what advice would you give to an upcoming content creator? I mean, when you put uh, content out there, you are sort of a judge of what you put out there. And I'm sure I'm speaking uh, on behalf of a lot of people here who are uh, perfectionists or a little bit judgy of what they put out there. Sort of like you take, you create content and then you judge it and then you are like, no, I'm not going to put this out there. So what advice do you have for those people? Start. Honestly, the more you delay you actually starting your career is the more you delay reaching the point where you're comfortable and you're successful. So just start. Um, make sure that you do a lot of research though when it comes to what you'd like the core of your brand to be, um, who it is exactly that you're speaking to. If you already are on social media, um, understanding your audience as well, so that the messaging that you're putting out is something that they can resonate with. And do a lot of research when it comes to investing in your channel, especially now. It's a fast-paced growing industry. There's a lot of competition. So it's not like back in the day when I started where I could upload a blurry video and people would watch it. <laughs> now it's going to be like, you actually being disrespectful. So uh, not to say that you have to have an expensive camera when you start out. You can even start with your cell phone. But just do your research and don't let fear hold you back. Honestly, there's a market out there for everyone. The pie is huge for all of us to eat. Somebody out there is going to love you. There's a brand. You know what they say? They say that um, in a room or in a company, there's a whole bunch of employees and you must never let that intimidate you when it comes to getting a brand deal because when it comes to the marketing team, it takes one person to be like, I want to work with that person. So just focus on building your brand and do it to start. Let's just give it to you. You get a thousand dollar at the money budget. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for your time. I'm bouncing. Trying to get a little. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad.